Hi, and welcome to RetroEric. Today we're going to talk about this joystick card. It's a dual digital joystick interface, and it's produced by Dynamics Marketing. So, this is a joystick card, and uh, if I understand it right, we'll be able to connect this Atari-style joystick, it's my favorite, the TAC2, to a PC. That would be a dream to do that back in the 80s and the early 90s. But uh, in those days, we only had access to these uh, analog joysticks. And that is not the same. You don't prefer analog joysticks for shoot map games or platform games. I would probably have loved this card in the 80s if I knew they existed. I did not. Uh, now I have one. I don't know if it's working or not, but we'll check it out. But first, why do I have this card in my hand just now? Well, I saw an ad on uh, a Norwegian Facebook group where they, where they buy and sell uh, computer parts, and there was an auction for this. And um, I didn't want to buy it myself because there was other buyers there that had much better plans for this. The guy who got this card has a plan to reproduce it. He's a fairly uh, capable guy of making uh, computer stuff. He has his own YouTube channel. You should check it out. It's in my description links. And if he gets it, uh, understand this and, and gets it right, we will probably be able to buy them or pr produce them ourselves. That was the intro. I have my West PC 1600. All my confirmation money went into this machine. Uh, the motherboard is replaced. It was an 8086 back in the days, back in 1989 or something. Uh, but it's now uh, a 286 motherboard in this computer. Okay, let's uh, install the card and see if we uh, get it to work. I love the way this uh, opens and closes. Just like a suitcase. Nice. Let's boot it up and hope there is no smoke coming from the card. It uh, looks good. Wow, it, it just works. Okay, <laughs> the, the joystick card works and there is no driver, at least for Gods, okay, let's begin the quest. This is actually a very good game. I remember when it came out, it was the best graphics ever on a PC. Too bad we don't have the Roland MT32 music here now. Oh, it's, it's actually, it feels very good. It feels just like one would expect. It actually feels exactly the same as the Amiga version. I remember also playing this on the, the Amiga and of course using, well, this joystick. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it, it just works as one, whoa, one would expect. Let's uh, try the button on the back side. I have no idea what that does. Just need to get rid of these monsters first. Okay. So, what is that button for? Let's try it. Now I'm pushing it in. It did something. No. It's like it's reacting a lot slower. Look here, and there it turns. And here again. Okay, I'll, I'll say it. Let's, uh, and right. It's like two second delay. Yeah, it's like a two second delay when that red button is pushed all the way in. Let's take it out again. Now it's out again. Yeah, and now it responds quick. I have no idea why uh, they have a button that makes everything uh, 
reacting slower. Could be a reason for that, who knows. Uh, if you have uh, an idea or a suggestion of why, why they have a button to make it uh, slower, I, I have no idea. Okay, this, was, um, this works very good. Let's try another game. Oh, okay, I can't use the keyboard now. Let's uh, exit to DOS. And, yep, we, let's try Xenon, Xenon 2. I remember that game. And we are starting Xenon 2. Okay, it asks for VGA. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I remember. Xenon 2, <laughs> only internal speakers. Uh, no ad lib or sound loss to support. Uh, but the uh, sound quality is not too bad for a PC speaker. Okay, let's start it. Oh, it works. It works. Oh, God. Uh, shoot them up games like this. It's so much more fun to use a joystick than using a keyboard. It just... It doesn't feel like... Uh, like you are playing it on a computer. Or no, or... or um, it feels like you're playing it on a computer if you use the keyboard. But if you use a joystick, it's more like, ah, oh, you're playing it on a console. And uh, you're more relaxed. You can uh, sit back, you know? instead of being leaned forward to the keyboard. Yeah, it's almost e easier to relax. You have a long wire. If this wasn't set up on my uh, workbench, I could have uh, sit back in my favorite uh, chair and uh, yeah, just relaxed. Just used it as I would on my Commodore 64 or Amiga back in the days. Oh, okay, it's one thing about this joystick. You really, you really get tired in uh, your thumb from pressing the fire button all the time. Maybe I should check with another joystick with auto fire. Yep, let's do that. Okay, I'll be back. I'm back with a new joystick and a bit short of breath. This time I have a zip stick. Yeah, I think those were called zip sticks. Yep, zip stick. Uh, was also one of my favorites. They're easier. And you can also feel and hear the clicks. It has a auto fire button. Let's disconnect the tack joystick. Connect it. Ooh, it's working. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah. Let's continue. Now it has water fire. Look at that. Nice. Oh, this was easy. Much easier. It's working. The auto fire is working. And the response is, oh no. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, I can go back. Okay, I could have gone back. Let's try one more game. Uh, let's try prehistoric. That was also a very good game, or it is a good game. This game has very good music if you're using an MT32. Of course, I only have the internal speaker here. So the sound is not very good. Okay. Okay, 
let's see if uh, this game works with the joystick. No. Okay. Let's um, let's exit it. Maybe it has no. Yeah, there is a config file. Let's uh, delete uh, the config and see if it asks us for a new config file or config. Let's see. Yeah, English. VJ uh, yeah IBM I guess joystick okay what's happening now okay it's starting let's uh, see if the joystick works now wait while loading level one. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh yeah, it works. Oh god, it's quick. Ah, I have the auto fire. Let's turn that off. Wow, it's so responsive. Ooh, perfect. The only thing this game needs now is uh, smooth scrolling. It's still fun. And on a roll on MT32, it's still good music. Ah. Okay. Well, we can surely say that the joystick works. Um, let's try the button is in this game too. Now it's in. Yeah, the same happens. If I take it to the right, it's, it's like a two second delay. But not on the fire button. Only on the movement. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Maybe not two seconds, it's more like one second delay. Okay, I'll take the button out again. And it's quick. Oh yeah. Well, uh, thank you for uh, joining me in uh, this adventure to test out the digital uh, joystick card. Uh, it worked very good in this uh, 286 machine. So uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.